Hi guys, uh, today I am going to teach you how uh, you can convert a simple JPEG image into uh, a vector image. Just for the tutorial, I want to keep it short. So I am uh, going to, you know, uh, do a little portion as a reference so that you can uh, convert, uh, I mean, uh, just understand the basic process of converting the image into a vector image. <clears throat> excuse me so uh, first of all you need an image like I got this image from uh, Google and uh, make sure it's not copyright uh, um, and it's free for uh, under the Creative Commons license <clears throat> like I, I didn't have an image so I got this from the in, uh, Google so like I'm using the Photoshop CC uh, it's 2040, 2014 and um, now as you can see I have made a copy of uh, this image layer and after that uh, after selecting the layer just go here and uh, you will get the option of threshold uh, selecting the appropriate uh, threshold level uh, what, you, what you need to do is uh, select that black region by um, uh, clicking the magic wand tool and make sure it's not continuous so uh, when continuous is not pressed all the black area will be selected as you can see here so after this what you need to do is create a new layer and uh, just fill it with any color I did uh, like I am using Windows PC so I clicked alt and delete as the black color is on top so this is the shortcut key and I love using the shortcut keys so as you can see some of the blur areas all are also coming as, a, coming as it's a um, rasterized image so after after doing that what you need to do is click control and just click that layer control and left click uh, press the left mouse button and it will select the black area again and after that just go here and click make work path when you will select this, this. <coughs> excuse me weather is ba getting ba bad bad here so so I will select the tolerance level to 1.4 pixels and when I will click you can see you got the work path now you can cut this and in the new layer or you can make any object like here outside and outside of your canvas and simply click paste I basically press the uh, control X command or cut before pasting the uh, the line lines here now as you can see it's quite smooth as compared to your previous selection so you can easily export this um, uh, shape uh, data to any um, illustrator or uh, coral draw application so you can uh, now if you want to make another uh, um, layer you can again select select the uh, like this and the value is 60 I will make it 60 for uh, you to understand and now I will select the black color again and close these layers and uh, I will create a new layer and make put it on the top and I will press alt and delete to fill that color so now I will click control and left mouse button which will make a selection and now I will click right click 
and select from the menu make work path so uh, it depends you know you have to select the tolerance very carefully you have to make the experiment when you are uh, in, uh, working uh, with the make path option make work path option so i will click ok and i will see if it's you now uh, coming nicely i will make undo it and then i will redo it or i will just simply click make work path so uh, it's not coming very good so i will select the tolerance to 2 now as you can see after clicking that i am getting nice result and it's also a vector so after uh, doing this you can basically uh, select the data and again cut that data with control uh, x or cut and now again create a new uh, solid object from here and simply select this uh, arrow option and paste your data so data or layer so as you can see <coughs> now you don't need that rectangle here simply delete that uh, select and delete that uh, thing so now we we don't even need these two layers which are uh, you know rasterized uh, layers so uh, I, I can change the color from now as you can see uh, I will select the different uh, and Uh, for the uh, to get the idea I will create a uh, uh, fill the layer with a white background okay. so to make it look nice I am going to uh, add a layer adjustment layer and put a gradient about it and I'm going to select uh, um, yellowish orangeish color and here also I will uh, select the same orangeish uh, but in the light uh, and I will fill it and now you can either multiply over it just you know experiment I will fill the layer with uh, the yellowish uh, tint color to make it look good. I mean, I am done with the process. I am just uh, making the image look good. So, after uh, doing this, make sure to uh, like um, um, make a backup, like like I love to do. This, I call it BKB and make a duplicate group and uh, mark it red and lock it and so it's safe from anything else so now here uh, what you need to do is select these two layers and you can see it's looking good even as this so I can reduce the opacity to make it you know give it a posterized posterized look like if you are creating a poster or something this might be useful for you guys um, and uh, like uh, these are the stray stray areas which I don't want so I can uh, delete that and like this one as well and uh, I might have to keep this area here because it's connected uh, to here or you can just make a now pick uh, uh, negative uh, um, like from here you can create negative 
budget and now you will subtract and That's all and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions just ask me in the comments section and make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos and if you want me to do in depth another tutorial on this uh, in which I will export this layer layers to the illustrator uh, for you guys to you know understand the whole process just post in the comment section and Make sure to share the video with your friends. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.